This is for the Edwin Henry job at 4408 Paddock Point in Florissant. Um, today is the 29th. It's being installed Thursday, which is tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. So it's a three and a half ton condenser. System is still working. Um, and the uh, um, disconnect is a non fused disconnect. Um, disconnect condition is actually pretty good, as well as is the whip. But if you want to change the whip, at least, wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, and then I will go into the basement here in a second and show how the line set should be done here. So bear with me a minute. Oh, the slope too of the, uh, of the condenser. Um, as you can see, it's just a tiny bit off kilter where it's at there. Um, shouldn't be too much to level it with some rock. I mean, it's a very slight, slight grade. Um, so a new, new concrete pad with some, with some rock underneath, probably one or two bags at the most, just to level it off. Um, would be more than sufficient. So now, let me go into the basement here. Wish there was a way to pause this so I didn't have to keep recording the whole time, but there's not. furnace room and so furnace humidifier is located on the supply plenum right above the old a coil which will be much taller than that little shorty that's in there and to the front side um, it is a 90% furnace but as you can see the coil could be slipped out the back um, just as easy so that you don't have to cut the flue pipe out um, and let me get a measurement of this coil here or the furnace sorry um, furnace is staying obviously so we are got uh, 21 inches wide so we'll try to get a C width coil that will make AHRI um, ratings so that we don't have to go with a D or something wider or narrower um, and then the uh, plenum looks like they just did a little band-aid on that old one to line it up there but uh, we can make that look a little cleaner um, and the uh, filter is currently in the bottom of the furnace which at this point since we're not replacing the furnace we'll just keep it as is rather than putting in a filter rack at this point cut down on costs and time so um, we'll do that when we do the furnace, I guess, in the future. So, um, oh, oh, the line set, uh, line set goes up and along the I-beam, and it is going over a finished ceiling, which, as you can see, goes in down there and takes a turn down there at the end so we're gonna have to flush the line set because it's turning and there's no way to feed it straight out so we will have to and it's drywalled and that ceiling so yeah there's no way to do the line set we'll have to flush the line set um, and that should conclude oh and no thermostat his thermostat is already a fancy uh, digital so he's keeping his thermostat and um, that should be it for this job.